we looking for some chickens over there. I think I saw some chickens over yonder, and uh, they, I think they waddled in that bush, but we're gonna sit here for a little bit and see if I can get them to poke their heads up real quick. See what we get. I'm just gonna leave this here. And I'm gonna go run down there and go collect my kids. I think I hear something still wrestling in there. So basically what happened, I think one of them was still alive in there. I had to quickly, uh, you know, put them down. It was quick, humane. You know, I don't think it suffered. Uh, it didn't suffer, you know, yeah. So it was just a quick shot. Now, we're just gonna, you know, gear up and get ready to get it out of there because it was messy. I saw something flying out of there. I put these gloves on. Stay back right here, you know. I, I don't, I, I'm pretty sure I got them. Yeah, that's what we like to see. He got shot up a little bit more. Oh, man. Ooh. Yeah, that's, that's a good bit right there. I think this one was the one that I just took out over there, but you know, it, it was just quick and humane. Oh man, you know, I usually try to avoid this, but they had a child, but you know, we're, we're not gonna waste this. We're gonna take the child home and we're gonna make a good stir fry with that. Well, that's how you find chicken breath. Oh, hi. Today we're gonna be looking for some vegetables in these here woods, but it's just kind of a tough terrain. As you see, I kind of scratched my hand on this brush right here, but we're gonna have to improvise a little bit. You know, we're just looking for some vegetables for the stir fry we're gonna do today and, uh, and just see what we can find for that stir fry. You know, for safety today, we're not gonna need these glasses. So let's just put them in here. Ignoring these here protections. When riding ATVs, you want to get, you know, a solid helmet, you know, so you can protect your, protect your brain bucket. So, just gear up, crank it up.
as you can see, it was a pretty rough trail. I saw that perfectly, oh, stepping in a hole. <laughs> well, you got that perfectly good stump, you know, it needs some mushrooms for a good stir fry. So we're gonna check that out real quick. You know, you gotta be careful of which mushroom you gotta, you know, study up on them. And, you know, I use the internet to find Yeah, there it is, there it is. That's a good mushroom right there. You know, taste them before you stir fry them. That's all I always like to say, you know? Now we're gonna, <coughs> we're gonna pick these up. You know, you can kind of smell some starches in the air. And, you know, for a good stir fry, you need rice too. Or at least in my book. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, yeah. Ooh, this is some fresh rice right here. Oh, it's brown rice. Nobody really likes brown rice, but we'll use it, you know. Watch my figure a little bit. Yeah, that mushroom's pretty good. I can't forget my knife. Oh, yeah. Now, I have to get the plastic. Now, you can't have a good stir fry without broccoli. You know. Sorry, excuse that. <clears throat> but broccoli is really good by itself, but I like to put it in stir fries. Mm. Well, wasn't that a hoot and a holler? Well, we're gonna get out of here now. You know, remember your helmet when you're riding ATVs? <laughs> And uh, stay tuned for the stir fry video. I'm getting out of here. I'm off. Oh, hi. I know it seems pretty fun what we're doing out here, but guns are pretty dangerous. But we are following the 10 safety uh, gun rules. And uh, that's, well, I only know really three. You can Google the rest, but one, always keep your gun and point in a safe direction. Always know what's beyond your target. And, uh, well, I guess I only know two. But, uh, yeah, just stay tuned.